This is a little story of Sofian Diep and the type of player that he is and ultimately seeing how he essentially got here. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. So today I wanted to talk about our new recruit, Sofian Diop. Who is this player? What is his play style? And how did we get here to this current moment in time? All those questions will be answered. But before we go ahead and begin, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe as it does help promote my channel to an audience looking to learn more about Moroccan football. But with that being said, let's go ahead and begin. Sophie and Diop was born in Tours, France in a neighborhood called Les Fontaines. His family is a blend of Senegalese and Moroccan heritage. His father, Manu Diop, hails from Senegal and his mother, Leila, has Moroccan roots. The mix of cultures played a significant role in Sofian's upbringing, especially during his summer visit to Senegal. Despite his early inclination towards music and playing the saxophone, football was a constant presence in his life. Thanks to his father's amateur football career and his younger brother, Ida, who also chose the path of football, it definitely led to a unique opening of the possibility. From watching his father's matches to kicking the ball himself, Sofian's love for football grew rapidly. He juggled his educational at Girardroup and later at Cornell College with football training at Tours FC. It wasn't long before he was scouted and noticed his potential leading him to a football pole at Chateaurus. Dio's club career would eventually spiral Tours a move to Stade Rennes where he owned his skills under coach Julian Stefan. However, he turned down their professional contract, feeling a stronger connection with AS Monaco's vision. He signed his first professional contract with Monaco in June 2018, making his debut against Paris Saint-Germain in August and eventually his loan to Sasha Montbelliard in 2019 marked a period of growth and improvement. Returning from his loan in 2020, Diop quickly caught the eyes of coach Niko Kovac. His excellent start to the season marked by remarkable goals and assists showcased his evolving skill set. Notably, his performance against PSG and other League One teams underscored his growing importance to the team. And despite his success at club level, Dio faced a challenge decision regarding his international career. Eligible to play for France, Senegal, or Morocco, he'd weighed his option and with recent developments suggesting a leaning towards representing Morocco as indicated by his inclusion in their team for a World Cup qualifier. Now, that brings us to who Sofian Diop is in a simplistic term. Now, let's see what kind of player he is. Standing at 1.75 meters, Diop's versatility allows him to play across the attack Known for his long-range shots and ability to create opportunity, he's also candid about his need for a strong connection with his coach for optimal performance. Diop's draw inspirations from the players like Yasin Brahimi, Thomas Lamar, and Bernardo Silva, a player who's continuously learning and trying to better enhance his style of play. So there you have it. This is a little story of Sofian Diop and the type of player that he is and ultimately seeing how he essentially got here. Diop is definitely a versatile player who primarily can play on the left wing which seems to be his more favorite spot but can also be a deep line striker as shown throughout his career with AS Monaco. Now he is one that's never afraid to take a shot, never one to be on the striker in position. He's one who loves to dribble past his opponent, make creative play as well as be versatile especially when it comes to his free kicks ability. He is a player I can definitely see bringing a lot to the table for the national team going forward and being still so young at the age of 23, he has a lot of time to grow with the club as well as with the national team 
But of course, these are all just my thoughts and my conclusion. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think about uh, Sophie and Diop. Do you think he is a good pickup by Morocco? Do you think he's just like a one and done player that his peak might have already happened or will happen and he might just decline some point in the future with the club and national team? Of course, these are all just speculation, but I'd like to hear your overall thoughts. And more importantly, I'm just glad that you all made it to the end of this video. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe as it does help promote my channel. But more importantly than anything, I just hope that you all have a great rest of your day. Thank you.